um, it is really important for me that um, uh, that uh, that uh, the Jewish context where I practice my Judaism be a feminist and a queer space, because I just don't leave, want to live a fragmented existence. I want to bring all my ethics into the same place, mm. uh, and um, the uh, the inclusion of women and the inclusion of queers and and the empowerment and creating uh, a context that's queer positive that uh, that that um, really respects. Um, the feminine that really empowers women it's um, it's essential for me um, and and so um I really want uh, to see that in uh, in the place where I practice, and uh, and again in this respect too, Eden McAdam is really unique because there isn't this sensitivity, unfortunately, yet. Uh, I hope there will be at some point um, uh, in Israel. Um, it's it's just uh, that people don't understand why. Uh, what's what's the relationship, let's say, between between LGBT and uh, and, and 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 the service um, now Israel. Uh, a Jewish service. Now, I I the Israeli society is, is uh, pretty heteronormative. Uh, everyone is supposed to get married, everyone is supposed to produce as many children as possible, of course, when it's soldiers for the army. Um, and um, it, it's just assumed that you will, you will want, uh, that everyone will want the same, that everyone will want uh, the same values. Now I don't want to come. I've had this experience of coming uh, to a service, uh, let's say at a, at a reform synagogue that wasn't particularly queer or in any way queer um, aware, and, and being asked ten times, uh, "Are you married? Do you have children? Are you married? Do you have children?" It's, it's just not a space where I can um, uh, really express myself freely because I don't want to explain to explain myself and justify my, my choices all the time. I want to celebrate uh, my choices exactly. to, to live differently.